Hello students, welcome back. In this video, we will discuss about the reproduction in animals. We know that digestion and respiration are essential for the survival of an organism. Like that, reproduction is very important in the continuation of a species that is the same kind of organism. If plants and animals won't reproduce, that will be the end of that species. Reproduction is the process through which living beings produce new young ones of their kind. Let's learn more about the reproduction in animals. The offsprings of different animals are distinct from each other. For example, young one's name of human is baby and cat is kitten. Similarly, for dog it is a puppy and for butterfly it is a caterpillar. There are two modes of reproduction asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction. We will discuss about the sexual reproduction in animals. Last year we learned about the reproduction in plants. They have male reproductive part and female reproductive part that is the androecium and gynoecium respectively. Male reproductive part produces male gamete and female reproductive part produces female gamete. Like that in animals Male gamete is called sperm and female gamete is called the egg or ovum. When sperm and egg fuse together, they form the zygote. This zygote develops into a new individual. In this male gamete and female gamete, they have only half number of chromosomes. For example, in humans, they have 46 chromosomes. 23 from mother and 23 from father that means 23 is from egg and 23 is from the sperm. In most of the animals male gamete and female gamete are present in separate individuals like in humans and reptiles. They are known as unisexual organisms. But in some animals both the male and female gamete are present in the same individual. For example, in earthworms, both male and female gametes can sing. They are known as bisexual organisms. Let's learn more about the sexual reproduction in humans. Humans have male reproductive system and female reproductive system. In male reproductive system, there are two testes present. The plural for testes is testes. Testes produces sperms. Millions of sperms are produced from these testes. Sperms travel through the sperm duct into the urethra and they travel through the penis. Sperm contains a head, middle piece, and a tail they are very small and single cell and because of the presence of this tail the sperms are motile. Let's learn about the female reproductive system. Female reproductive system includes two ovaries, oviduct, uterus. From this ovary ovum is produced. The female hormones like estrogen and progesterone are produced from this ovary. Either of ovaries produces one ovum every month. The fetus develops inside the uterus. This narrow area is called as cervix. An ovum contain a cell membrane Now a nucleus and inside it cytoplasm is there. Moving on to fertilization. Fusion of sperm and ovum is called fertilization. We just studied that millions of sperms are there but only one sperm fuse with the egg. The nucleus of the sperm fuses with the nucleus of egg and a single nucleus is formed 
they produce the zygote. We will discuss the development of the embryo in the later slides. In some females, the OV duct is blocked, so the fertilization won't take place. In that case, doctors collect egg from the female and sperms from male. Then they are allowed to fertilize outside the body. Zygote is formed. This zygote is allowed to develop for one week, then placed it in the mother's uterus. Further development of the baby take place inside the uterus. Babies born through this technique are called as test tube babies. Let's learn about the external fertilization. In aquatic animals such as frogs and fishes, fertilization takes place in outside the body of the female. It is called external fertilization. The eggs are laid in water during spring and rainy season. Frogs and toads move to the ponds. Then the female lays hundreds of eggs in water. Frogs' eggs don't have a shell and it is very delicate. A layer of jelly holds these eggs together. This jelly provides protection to the eggs. When the eggs are laid, the male deposits sperms over the eggs. Then sperm swings with the help of tail then it fuses with the egg to form zygote. This zygote develops into frog. As these eggs are laid in water, there are chances that these eggs might be carried away by water or by wind. To ensure the fertilization of at least few of them, they lay hundreds of eggs. Now let's learn about the development of embryo. In human beings, the fertilization happens in the oviduct. That means the sperm and the ovum fuse together in the oviduct. Then the zygote travels down the oviduct and it divides repeatedly to form a ball of cells. These cells develop into tissues and then to organs. This developing structure is called embryo. Now the embryo gets embedded into the wall of the uterus. It further develop and form hands, head and legs. The stage of an embryo where we can identify the body parts is called fetus. Here we can see a fetus. When the development of fetus is complete, the mother gives birth to the baby. In hen, the fertilization is internal. Soon after fertilization, the zygote travels down the oviduct and many protective layers form around it. You all are familiar with the hard covering of egg. When this protective cover formed, the hen lays egg. Then the hen sits on the top of the egg to give it all warmth. At this stage, the development of the embryo takes place. It will take three weeks for the embryo to develop into a chick and then it bursts open the egg shell.
Let's learn about the oviparous and viviparous animals. Based on whether the development of zygote takes place outside or inside the body of females, animals are divided into two. Oviparous animals are those animals which lay eggs. Examples are insects, fish, amphibians and reptiles. Viviparous animals give birth to young ones. Examples are cat, dog, human and elephants. After the individual born, they continue to grow. You are aware that a caterpillar is completely different from the butterfly. Likewise, a tadpole is completely different from the frog. In the case of silkworms, first eggs are formed. It develops into caterpillar then to pupa and then to adult. Similarly, in the case of frog, from egg, tadpole develops, this tadpole develops finally to frog. The transformation of the larva into an adult through drastic changes is called metamorphosis. As we now understood what is sexual reproduction, let's move on to asexual reproduction in animals. Hydra is a multicellular organism. In the animal, small bulges are there. These bulges are called buds. These buds are formed due to the repeated division of cells. This bud grows into a new hydra and finally get detached from the parent body. This type of asexual reproduction is called budding where only single parent is involved in the reproduction. Let's move on to binary fission. This type of asexual reproduction happens in amoeba. First, the nucleus of amoeba divides into two, then cytoplasm divides into two. Finally, two amoebae are formed from a single parent. This type of reproduction is known as binary fission. <laughs> now let's learn more about cloning. A cloned animal is a copy of a complete organism. First animal cloning was performed by Ian Wilmuth and his colleagues. They were from Roslyn Institute, University of Edinburgh, Scotland. They successfully cloned a sheep named Dolly. Dolly was born on 5th July 1996. They selected Finn Dorset sheep and Scottish Blackface Eve. Then they collected mammary cells from the Findorset sheep and egg from Scottish Blackface Eve. Then they removed the nucleus from egg and the nucleus from mammary cell was inserted into the egg. Then this egg was implanted into the uterus of the Scottish Blackface Eve. 
development of embryo took place normally and finally dolly was born though dolly was given birth by scottish blackface eve it was found absolutely identical to finn dorset sheep why that is because the nucleus from the finn dorset sheep was taken but the nucleus from the egg was removed because of this dolly didn't show any character of scottish blackface eve and it was completely identical to finn dorset sheep from which the nucleus was taken thank you for watching this video if you like this video please share it with your friends if you have any queries put it in the comment box Thank you.